<laughs> Welcome to Team Mullership Reviews. Go is cold in the UK. I hope you enjoyed that video, uh, the test flight of my Franken plane creation. It actually flew amazing. Next time is a model show and we're out of lockdown. I'm going to be looking to buy some big glider wings. But So the 3D printer is actually getting some use. Today I want to talk about the 3D printer. As you can see my 3D printer is looking a little bit worse for wear. Forget this. It's out of the enclosure and there's cables and bits everywhere. Oh no, I hear you say, what have you done? Right, the enclosure's off. Problem is, as you remember, I had a little temperature display on my enclosure and a segment failed. And nothing, no big deal, still worked. It's just one of the LED segments. And because these was, were very, very cheap, I thought I'd buy another one. But of course, you know what it's like. You go into Banggood, then you notice that they do some alternatives. And the alternative I spotted was this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll watch him call it the thing in my bob. This is a thermostat. This has a temperature probe. And then when it gets to a certain temperature, you can define the temperature in the settings. When it gets to that temperature, it will simply switch. And you can either program it to be switching on or switching off. This pair of wires are the switch wires, and this pair of wires is the power. So it depends on what you want to do. So that would be, you could put positive on there, and positive comes out to there, to the fan. But it is a simple switch. If you watch my other video, I have covered this in a previous video in the series. So if you want to have a look at my other videos, you might find something interesting there but i've covered the enclosure controls in that i've selected an alternative version to this that looks a little bit better to be built into the housing so this was one i could bolt on the outside and it was uh it was cheap it was so cheap so back to the video so i've got a 12 volt one and i thought i'd make the enclosure all 12 volts so I got myself a little power supply, because they were ridiculously cheap. So I got myself one of these power supplies. And and this this three and a half dollars, four dollars, you know, that's ridiculous. It's a 12 volt, five amp power supply. So I put it on a little plastic base so I can mount it. And I got myself a waterproof light switch. So I bought this, this switch, a little bit bigger than I expected, but there we are. So is plug it into the mains and I got 12 volts coming out of there and I've cut a hole in the top to mount it in the top there so I thought it would look a lot nicer but then I realized the door had to have the uh, recess as well so I've set it to go in there I do get asked questions first of all what temperature do I run inside the enclosure and the temperature I run is roughly about 24 25 degrees so when it gets to about 27 degrees the fan comes on sucks all the heat out basically cools it down to about 25 degrees then turns off the temperature sensor will be mounted at the top sort of a couple of inches down off the top it's pointless putting on the bottom because obviously the heat rises and the most of the heat is in the top don't want to let it get too hot what i've done is i've screened off the air in the front and as you can see i put a little bit of uh medical tape down there the blender medical tape stop the cold drafts going through because it is probably about minus minus two outside and in the shed it's probably about four degrees centigrade i'll have to put a thermostat out here to see so it's about four degrees centigrade. it is it is bitterly cold so when i come out here i generally put the 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 3d printer on leave it run for a little bit to get a little bit of an ambient temperature when i've when the inside the enclosure is about 10 to 12 degrees then i'll start the print i, I had an inquiry from 
from uh, a viewer who's got the opposite problem it's really warm and the problem they had is their air conditioning was blowing cold air and causing prints to warp so they put the enclosure on to protect it from the air conditioning oh how nice would that be but you know what whatever the need is it's handy to have an enclosure just to keep that stable temperature but what i have noticed is when it's the fan is coming in it's drawing ice cold air in so it's a similar problem so what i've done is i've taped up along this edge so i got like a little draft excluded along the edge i put little rubber feet so i got a about a two mil gap underneath my base frame because i've made a little like a wooden base frame where this sits on and there's a little air gap but i've sealed around the front half with a draft excluder and so the, the air comes in from the sides so it doesn't actually come across and flow across the printed bed so you're not having any any warps or anything going on the air is being drawn in through the vent at the back so it's drawn up, up around and it's going to any drafts like i said i've sealed the door any drafts are going to be towards the back end of the machine and it's it's drawing it through it'll come through the controls so the controls the control board has got some cool air coming in from from the sides so that was a handy little feature and i tell you for why I had a control board failure. Display was dead, print stopped, everything going, but the fans and everything were running, so there was obviously power there. And so I bought a new controller. I had a strap on my wrist to make sure there's no static or any issues. And I was testing, and I thought I would test the board before I connect it all in. And to connect the board, that's all I did is connect the display to it. When I did, it immediately started to get hot and started little plumes of magic smoke. So I immediately switched it off, checked it out, and I could see that there was a fusible resistor. And that fusible resistor had got hot, and the lacquer was what was smoking. Thankfully, it didn't cause any damage to anything. There was no heat damage. So I was able to, to check it, do some tests, and I found, actually, it was the display that had failed. Why, I do not know, but it was the 5-volt line of the display unit. So... Be mindful, if you ever get into this situation and you get a new control board, before you do anything, keep everything separate, put a new power cable onto it and power it up. Make sure that, that the board and the display actually work. So if the display comes on and everything's working, then you know you're okay. Like I said, that's all you need to do is plug the power lead in or connect the power lead in and connect the, the display on a ribbon. Yes, I know there's several sockets for the display. Make sure you're on the right socket. And I, I can't remember what it was, number three, I think it was. But obviously, double check, make sure it is, get it all there, power it up. And if it doesn't work, then you've saved yourself a lot of time trying to put it in. So I bought the latest silent running Creality version 4.2, <laughs> whatever it was. And uh, it's it. I was amazed how silent the step was. The stepper motors used to make a noise constantly and if you've got an Ender 3 Pro you'll be familiar with that noise as it's going it makes a so when they say silent running it mean the motor is whisper silent so all this is obviously part of the frequency control for the steppers it doesn't need to be there these however they manage the the the, the power to these steppers absolutely silent running perfect couldn't ask for anything better so that actually works really fine and there is fuse protection on it so that's my tip of the day test anything same as you used to do with the flight control boards test it before you solder to it and put everything in like i said before you go stripping your machine down just test the board you got with the display you got make sure it's okay just in case there is a problem i'm very surprised i'm very surprised that a lot of modern power supplies when there is a problem they actually protect themselves and go open circuit and you know so they don't actually burn themselves out i'm very surprised that creality have adopted that fusible resistor arrangement i'm now going to put this together like i said i'm using these jst they're from the modeling hobby 10 amp dc i'm not sure but they're called jst plugs as you can see they're little red plugs and you've got the male and female so i've connected them already in there so it's time to slot it all in and plug it in and i'll take some photographs as i go 
and I think it'll be a nice finish. Oh, I bought some of this this for for LED lighting. This is is aluminium with a little plastic insert, and you can you can fix it up. And so I put some a, a strip of that in the top, and I stripped down the side and cut it to fit, and that helps then as a bit of cable trunking as well so I can it'll keep the the cables nice and neat and I've put a strip of LEDs on the top just for effect because I could so I did oh something weird about doing that but anyway so I'm gonna put it together and I'll come back to you when it's uh, when it's all assembled and ready to plug in Currently 16 and a half degrees inside the enclosure and the temperature set point is 24. So if I grab hold of the sensor we shall see the temperature start to climb. It's my body temperature so imagine the enclosure is warming up. It won't come on at 24 that's the off temperature. So it's reached 24 and the fan hasn't come in so I think it gets it needs to be two degrees it's a two degree differential you can adjust it so 25 it doesn't come in 26 it should come in and there's the fan running so the fan now is extracting the heat out to the enclosure and you'll see the temperature starting to drop and when it gets to 24 it should stop Simples. A little bit of an effort, but it was worth it in the end. Thank you for watching T Bully Sheep Reviews. I hope you found this interesting, and like I said, as I learn, I'm sharing the knowledge. So I try to mix it up. You know, my passion is radio controlled, but I also do a bit with controls, 3D printing, and lots of other things. And I hope you get some benefit. A few. Uh, life's hacks like my beer machine fingers crossed we'll be on the flight line soon and we'll be at some model shows because i need to get some wings for my babies i just had an idea oh back to the bench catch you later anyway thank you for watching team woolly sheep reviews catch you soon take care bye